Good day all and welcome back to our channel. So today in this video, let's discuss about help desk module in Odo 40. So help desk provide your customers with support to queries or errors they might encounter while using a product or service. So therefore a successful scheme where you can organize multiple teams with their customized pipeline, visibility settings and ticket traceabilities as is essential. So we can create teams to manage these. Uh, so first of all, we have to install this help desk module from App Store, and after that, you can just search for here help desk. Okay. So when you just open this module, you can you be able to see a help desk overview that contains that shows you total number of tickets, then tickets with higher priority and urgent tickets. And we can also see the average open hours of the ticket and you can see SLA failed. So this SLA means service level agreements. So these are the commitments you make with your customers to outline how a service is delivered. So it uh, boosters trust between you and your customers as it makes clear what needs to be done to what standard and when. So we'll be discussing about uh, configuring that is creating SLA a later in this video that is SLA policies. Then uh, we can view the overall performance of the team. You can see the clo close tickets, happy rating, and success rate, and the daily target. And below you can see here we have our help desk teams. That is, you can create and configure help desk teams. So um, you can see the total uh, tickets of a team, then SLA issues and unassigned tickets. So from here we can just go to settings and configure the team and you can also change the color of the team. So in order to configure, in order to create new help desk team, just come under configuration and here we have the team. So this teams uh, provide that is your customers with support to queries or problems or errors so you can see we have customer care team customer services team vip support so if you open a help desk team uh, you can see some details like that that is the help desk team name and description for the customer portal then this company then productivity and visibility of the team so uh, we can assign newly created tickets to right person so we can do it by manually assigning or randomly assigning or balanced. So this assignment method helps to ensure that tickets get redirected to the right person. So in the case of manually, uh, tickets are manually assigned allowing employees to manage their own workload and target tickets are, that are ex they are experts at. Then in case of random, tickets are randomly assigned and everyone gets the same amount. So this method ensures that all tickets are handled as the assignment happens automatically. Then in the case of balanced, tickets are assigned to the person with the least amount of tickets so that everyone fairly gets the same amount. So thereby you ensure that all tickets get to be taken care of. So for this option random and balance, uh, we can set uh, team members among whom tickets are assigned so leave the field empty to include all employees so and we can see we can set the team visibility so this allows you to specify who can see and access the team's tickets the four tickets with sensible information are only seen by the right people so if everyone need to view this you can just leave it as empty Then we can set channels and we can set email uh, incoming email alias uh, to create tickets. Then we can get in touch with your website visitors. So uh, by allowing to set live chat for your team. So we have done a separate video on about live chat in Udo 14. You can check that. Then if you want to submit tickets with an online form, you can use this enables option website form. Then below you can see an option that is sell and track hours. 
so this is used to invoice uh, time spent on tickets so it can be done as prepaid or postpaid uh, that is we have prepaid support services and postpaid support services so first we can have to enable this option you can record time sheet on your tickets so from here it is possible to select a project and we can set time sheet timer to track the time so here we can create a new project like help desk project so here we can uh, add settings and save the project okay so the project is created then here we can enable the option uh, time re reinvoicing so it reinvoices time to your customers to task so enable that so first let's consider the uh, invoice time spent on time uh, spent on tickets with prepaid support services so in this case uh, so it means that sale order and the corresponding invoice are issued and once the service is done you can detect the time spent so order allows to it happen because the applications are fully integrated resulting in faster responses to your customer needs so after saving this uh, help desk Let's go to uh, sales module. And make sure that we have you have enabled unit of measure and have created a unit of measure that is ours. Okay, so we have that. Now let's go to products and create a new product. Uh, so it has to be a service product. And I'm giving, giving setting a product name as help test service. And here we have to set the product type as service. Then uh, we'll come under sales tab. Here we have to set a service invoicing policy. So uh, we can set it as prepaid. That is order quantity. So and we can create a task in an existing project so you can select the project so here we have our help desk project that we have created before okay so this configuration ensures that the customer is invoiced by the number of hours predicted in the sale order meaning that less or extra hours recorded are not taken into account so this also ensures that every time a sale order is confirmed a new task is created under the right project automating the process Okay, now save this product and we can place an order. So we can create an order for the help desk service product we have previously set up. So here we can set a customer and expiration date, priceless payment terms. Then here we can add the product. So we have our help desk service. Okay, we have to change its units of measure to ours. I forgot to change that. So this goes to external link. And here we can set it as ours. So we can okay, so save it. So we have to add it again, add it again. Okay, now here we have to set the number of hours needed to assist the customer. Okay, so I'm setting it as 3 hours. And after that, we can confirm this order. 
and create an invoice for the customer. So after confirming the invoice, you can make the payment. So here before that you can see one task is created and you can view the rated invoice and project overview. Now uh, let's link the task to ticket that is for that we have to go to help desk. And here we have our customer care. So from here we can create or edit respective ticket. So let's create a new ticket. So here we can see, uh, see the, this help desk team. Um, we can assign to a person. Then we can see the ticket type. Uh, whether it's a question or issue. Then we can set a priority for this ticket. Then we can assign tags. Then we can see the company name and here we can see the customer. Then, so when you do that, here we can see say, related sale order. So let me save this. And you just open the sale order. You can see the sale order that we have confirmed before. And you can see the task and project here. So you can see help us service product. Okay, now here below you can see an option to record your timesheet. So let me edit this and add time. So we can record the hours performed under the timesheet tab. So here we can add employee Michelle admin have worked on this task for the duration one hour. Okay, so in this way you can add lines here. So the hours recorded on the ticket form are shown in delivery column in the sale order. So you can see now the deliver changed to one because uh, one hour is spent on this task. And we can also move the ticket to in progress. Then here we can also see option that is uh, that is stage that is sold. When you solve this uh, problem or issue, or when you answer a query, you can move to sold state. And it is also possible to cancel a ticket. Okay, so here we can see uh, as we have set in the team the number of days to start that is working on remaining to work on this problem issue and the number of days remaining uh, to finish this problem that is this task and here on the right side you can see uh, your request that is query has been received and is being reviewed by our customer care team reference of your ticket is 22 and you can it's possible to view the ticket from here uh, so you can add additional comments by replying to the mail so mail has been sent to the customer recorded. Okay, so that's how prepaid service is done. And coming back to help this team. So here below you can see performance, set performance. So here we can see the option to enable uh, SLA policies. Set up service legal agree level agreements to track performance of your team. So we can configure SLA policies for a team by just clicking on this configure SLS or this come under configuration there also you can find option to configure or create SLA policies. And here we can enable CAN responses. So we can use uh, predefined answers in the mail composer. So if uh, 
then we can set calendar used to compute SLA target. So we can add a working schedule here. And uh, you can also find an option to allow customers to easily rate on your services. So by activating this option, it will add a default email template on non folder closing stages. And it is possible to display rating on customer portal also. Then below you can find a uh, self service. So we can ask question and answer on your website. Then uh, share presentation or videos into courses. Organize into courses. Then you can find an option that allows customers to close their tickets. Okay, so let me enable these options. This option ticket closing and save customer care. So this allows the customers to close their tickets, it gives them autonomy and minimize misunderstandings about when an issue is considered uh, sold or not. So it makes communication and actions more efficient. And if you open tickets and when you edit the stage, here we can find option to set as closing stage. So you can see it is already set as a closing stage and if you have more than one stage set as closing, the ticket is put in the first one. Then below you can find a section that is to manage after sales features. So as your business grows, Having the right tool to support your help desk team on recording, tracking, managing issues, raise easily and efficiently is key. So Odo's help desk application allows you to generate credit notes, manage returns, uh, products, repairs, grant, coupons and even plan on-site interventions from a ticket page. So it is possible to generate credit notes from tickets, then allow product returns from tickets, then grant coupons from tickets, repair broken products using these options then we can enable on-site intervention that is to plan field service tasks from tickets so it allows you to set up your on-site intervention exactly same way as we uh, you were in the on field service application okay just enable these options and save help this team after that when you check the tickets or create a new ticket inside the ticket form Okay, so here we can see additional button, refund, that is used to generate credit notes from tickets. So here we can select the related uh, invoice to refund and you can specify the reason, choose credit method and create a credit, credit note. So from here you can confirm it. Then we can find an option to grant coupons from tickets. So uh, we can select a coupon program and grant coupon from tickets. Then you can find option that is that allows product returns from tickets. So we can set delivery to return. Then product here you can see the related product then return location and you can return that is again reverse transfer. Then here we can find option to repair from tickets. So you can create a repair order and confirm it. Then the next option that is plan intervention. So uh, you can set up your own uh, your on-site intervention exactly the same way as if, if you are on the field service application. So you can plan intervention. So you can set, set title, project and customer and create a new task. Okay, then we can configure ticket type, whether this question or issue, then we can configure stages, then SLA policy. 
so you can see uh, we have seen this before inside our ticket uh, at the saving ticket you will be able to see the number of days to start a service or issue and number of days to finish the issue problem so we can set SLA policy name, create SLA policy and set it for your help test P. So you can see three of them, uh, three of SLA policies are created. We can set, uh, that is we can apply this policy on a team, then set the minimum priority, ticket type, tags, then we can set information related to target. So when it reaches in progress stage, we should. Then here we have option reporting. So an efficient customer service solution should be uh, should have a built-in reporting option. Reports allow you to track trends, idea areas for improvement, manage employees' workloads, and most importantly, meet your customers' expectations. So here we can view the help desk ticket analysis. Uh, which we have different measures available color index rating then time to first assignment count so we'll be able to evaluate which ticket types have been the most frequent ones plus the workload of your teams apply time ranges if you would like to make comparison to previous period or uh, previous year so here we have a lot of grouping options uh, sorry filters like uh, we can view the SLA failed ticket then SLA in progress open ticket close ticket and we can group this according to team creation date ticket type and all and we can get an overview of how many requests each team is closing per day in order to measure their performance and identify productivity levels to understand how many requests they are able to handle So here we have a pivot view also and we can choose meshes like time to close, time to first assignment, rating last value. So this time to close allows uh, that is your customers not only expect fast responses but they also want to uh, want their issues to be handled quickly. Then we can also view uh, the SLA status analysis. So you can view the SLA status of uh, each help test team. You can see the ticket, fa ticket failed, SLA status failed. You can see for month. And from here we can choose different measures like can you open hours. Time to close and all. Time to first assignment like this way. So that's all about help test in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.